not a new old saying so much as a an old saying that doesn't get enough repetition. Actions speak louder than words. Watching daylight, breaking dawn, been thinking about my livelihood. And though I know life will go on, we've acted richer than we should. 60 million years of treasure took a hundred years to burn, treating all as is our pleasure, without a bit of just concern. Tasting now the bitter fruit of living far beyond our means, our fate we whine, just doesn't suit, not having seen the damage of our dreams. And idle hands and silent voices shout out, evil have your way. And millions burn because our choices force on others what we should pay. Walmart, Target, Kmart, even Sears, conspire, enslave to benefit gluttonous consumption, devoid of tears, obesely languid, and not worth spit. Change, change, change we demand. Change everything except my lifestyle. Please, make us think the world really likes us. Then let me return back to sleep with a smile. You know, I'm beginning to think that the rot's just way too deep. Turning a blind eye has caused a permanent crank. Cradle to grave in the dream state of sleep. The majority no longer able to think. A bright shining light on a hill. We may claim, but the world knows the truth. We refuse to admit. It's the hopes and the dreams and the lives of the poor feeding a flame. It's a hellfire consuming that hill and we cause it. Conspicuous consumption based on rape and plunder. Driven by the poisons of the past how long before our greed becomes our blunder? This fairy tale we're living cannot last. The question becomes, will we awaken by our own design and right the wrongs that we were taught? Or else we should ourselves resign to being victims of a worldwide war that will be fought in our names for our greed with our cash and armaments. Now listen close, we will not succeed. The numbers seal our death warrants. Obama appointing the same failed actors who didn't just support, but in most cases created the national policies in the crashing domestic economy, in the exploding Middle East, in the condemning the people of Gaza to genocide, in the 
sanctioning of the murder of more than 200,000 people in East Timor and pushing the idea that they've learned from their mistakes is a load of crap. Fine, they've learned. Now let them serve penance away from the public eye. They could easily be replaced by more qualified persons, people who got it correct at the time when it counted, people not complicit in the crime of the now. He campaigned and got elected on change. And what change will we get? Changing from the shrubs maladministration and even that's wrong because he did the bidding of his puppet masters looted the treasury for the next two generations destroyed the economy which is a fancy way of saying that the idle rich are sucking up all the fucking property left us a conflagration in the Middle East that will also take generations to sort through. Getting back to the subject, changing from the Shrubs administration to Clinton's corporate dominated, Republican orientated, money denominated, but visually appealing farcical, cynical, smoking mirror, feel-good tactics that kept the wool down tight over those who would rather dream than live in freedom. Well, I would want to give our new president, first one we've had in eight years, some breathing room to spread his wings. I know the corporate vulture's intent and they're working their agenda, tying strings to handle and control him in their favor. So we cannot afford to wait. That said, he has performed two items we can savor halting the tribunals down in Guantanamo and putting a halt to all those new rules that his shrubbiness saddled the agencies with as he was rushing out the door to start collecting his just rewards from his corporate handlers. And he did that straight out of the gate during his inaugural address in two short sentences rebuking and condemning Shrub's eight years for the profits of the few and the full-faced frontal assault on our civil liberties. He's already made me smile. Now, into the circle file.